you live here? Huh? No, no, uh... My cousin does, though. Well, at least I, I, I think he does. He, uh... It's a tall guy, uh, English accent. He, he'd be with my girlfriend. She's uh, not so high, dark hair, American. Seen him? This neighborhood, who knows? Folks around here afraid to open their doors. I don't blame them. So you haven't seen him? And I find it hard to believe that these old run-down places are still livable. I figured a record ball would have gotten it years ago. But there are people in the building. They want to their apartment. Next thing you know, they're complaining about the phone services to my supervisor. And I get yelled at. Yeah, I know how it is. I used to do this uh, same type of work myself. You beat your brains out day in, day out. And what do you get yelled at? So you haven't seen any new people move in, huh? In this building? Well, this building or, or any of the other buildings around here. My, my cousin said he moved to, next to a, a, a Chinese laundry, but uh, he didn't give me the address, so. Well, this guy's new. Real crank, too. You know, come to think of it, he might have had some kind of foreign accent. Snooty, you know what I mean? OK. All right. Uh, thanks for the info, bud. Appreciate it. Hey, well, uh, are you just going to check it out? Go ahead. Knock on the door. See if it's your cousin. Nah, my cousin's a real nice guy. Couldn't be the same one. Hey, David. What's up? Let's go. Why? Why not? Peter's playing with his nanny. He's fine. He'll be fine until tomorrow. Let's go. No. Yeah. Well, Bridget. What? What's wrong? What's going on? It's nothing. No, wait, wait. What's wrong, David? That's what I would like to know. I've been watching you, and something's not right. Thank you very much. <laughs> Let's just go. Okay. No, 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 R really. No, I'm talking about what happened before when you were talking with Vanessa. It was like you didn't even remember the argument that you had had with her this morning. It was only a few hours ago. Did you ever stop to think that maybe I've got a couple things in my mind? Hey. Did you see Peter? How is he? Yeah, he's <laughs> fabulous, of course. He's playing with Mary, and uh, they're doing fine. And I'm going to go, because I have a kajillion things to do. Okay. So. Thanks again. It was very sure. uh, great of you to bring me food. No problem. Give me a call. Yeah. Honey, I just think maybe if we go home, you can rest. I can't rest, honey. Well, Cutter has his experts working on this latest tape, and, and they'll find something, and the case will be cracked, and Dinah will be fine. She just came into my life again. I want her back. I want my daughter back.
Are you here alone? Yes, but... Matt. What the hell is this? See, the man who kidnapped me is going to be back oh, any moment. He's very dangerous. Now, save yourself. Oh, stop it. I'm here to help you. You just have to stay calm. No, and we'll Matt. Get out of this. Leave me. Go now. Go. Excuse me, sir. Yeah, what do you want? Yeah, I'm a representative of the phone company, and though you say you have no telephone, there are lines in your apartment. Yeah. So what? Uh, well, so, uh, those lines are company property, and I really have to get in your apartment to examine them. <sighs> Matt, just give it up, will you? <sighs> Listen, you're never gonna get that thing off, so you might as well just get out of here now. Save yourself. I, I told you, the guy that kidnapped me, he's very dangerous. He's gonna be back any minute. <sighs> are you listening to me? Damn. <sighs> what are you doing now? Move over. Oh, why? Oh, no! No, you go, you go. I can't. Are you crazy? No, but he is. He, Victor is. If I, if I go now, he's going to come after me. He maybe come after someone in the family. If he gets the ransom tonight, he's going to disappear forever. Yeah, and maybe he's going to kill you. Let's no, get the hell Matt, out of here. Come get back inside. I told you to get out. Shut up. Now, how did you find us here? Dumb luck. Well, smart or dumb, your luck's about to run out. Now, who else knows we're here? The police outside, or are they on their way? I came alone. I was listening to the tape that Dinah made. I heard some background noise. It sounded like a steam press. You've got a laundry next door. There's a laundry on every block in America. Were you planning on trying them all? No. Here's what I think. I think the two of you were in cahoots, and now you want to cut yourself in for a slice of the pie, too. How many slices are there? Greedy boy. Here you are, marrying the goose that lays the golden egg, and you want to grab even more? Or is Mrs. Lewis keeping you on a tight allowance these days? What makes you think I'm in it for the ransom? I was here to get Dinah out. If you'd have just given me a couple more minutes, we'd have been gone. Maybe you were counting on a big reward. No, Victor. He really was just coming to rescue me. Believe me. Believe you? I never trusted you to live up to your end of the deal, and I was right. What deal? Just be quiet, I only went along with the little princess's idea of a 50-50 split because we are doubled the asking price. But I'm damned if I'm going to split the ransom three ways. Yeah, run this over classified. Molly, I what? told you we would do that. Oh, come on, Bridget. He's got to be there. Well, no, he just disappeared from the house. And, 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 you know, I'm here at the journal. I mean, Matt's... Yeah, we're all waiting. We're just... We're just waiting for the... Your tail you know, on the pickup person, I repeat. Look, Tell you, him. I'll take responsibility for it. I don't want a cop please. anywhere near that area. We're going to play this absolutely straight. Because that's what Vanessa Lewis wants. I'm sorry, yeah, that's good. right. Dinah Marler's kidnapping is going over to page two, and we're gonna lead off page one with Tangy Spaulding's story. Damn. Yes. Huh? Of course we checked with legal already. Well, no, you know, it's aside from a word or two here or there, basically we're gonna run with Tangy Rose. Fletcher, Fletcher, I'm telling you, we should hold off on this article, at least until we have a chance to check out the allegations. Hey, man, come on, we can't afford to wait. If this thing leaks out, we're an also ran. I got problems with Tangie, but I do trust her. She wouldn't mess with a story this big unless she knew she could cover it. So, oh, listen, Nick, I know that Alan Spaulding's your uncle, so oh, if you're come thinking on. for Give one second... Oh, come on, That, that has nothing to do with anything. Look, I'm just trying to remind you, okay? When you're dealing with Alan, you better make sure that all your weak spots are covered, and you also better be prepared for a very dirty fight. Well, you... Hold on a second here, Holly. I have been in this town since 1983. I know Alan Spaulding can be treacherous. But if you think that we are gonna put this off any longer, you're nuts, because that's gonna give Alan Spaulding all the time he needs to plug up all the loopholes, to buy off or <laughs> to kill off all the resources. So, hey, Brent. What's in there? Looks like an old coal bin. Very perceptive, my young friend. <laughs> now, get in, both of you. 
pictures. There's no ventilation in there. We'll suffocate. Then keep your mouth shut and you won't need so much air, will you? Don't forget, you need to pick up the ransom money. No, no. The plan's changed, honey. I know those of us. Don't even think about it. What are you going to do with us? I haven't made up my mind yet. But when I do, you'll be the first to hear about it. about the kidnapping? How's my mother doing? Is she, is she worried about me? Oh, come on. Don't clam up on me now. I feel like I've been stuck in here, away from civilization forever. Just tell me. Did she Did she get it? Did she, did she get the two million? Yeah, she came up with it. She did? Really? I mean, you're not just saying that? Why would I do that? <laughs> <laughs> wow, I can't believe it. I can't believe she loves me that much that she would give up all that money. Damn. Well, what about, what about Daddy? How's he doing? Oh, never mind. Don't tell me. I know he's, he's worried sick, I'm sure. At least he has my wicked stepmother to take care of. You know, she... I hope that she is talking about me with a little more respect now. She should be feeling very guilty for all the terrible things she did to me. No, I don't think so. <laughs> she figured this for a scam the whole time. But don't tell me. Don't tell me you think that, too. Come on, Matt. You didn't believe all those things that, that Victor was saying about he and I being partners, did you? a question. You know what? Fine. Give me the silent treatment. I don't care. You can think the worst of me, but I will tell you one thing. This is all your fault. My fault? Yes. I had everything under control, and then you had to come in here like some kind of macho superhero and ruin everything. Well, you selfish little brat. Who the hell do you think you are, Dinah? What's the name for people like you, Dinah? Sociopath. Oh, big words. What did mommy give you some books to read? <laughs> no, she's too busy worrying about you. She doesn't know if you're if you're you're hurt, if you're dead. Just like the rest of your family. Your father, your brother, your grandfather. I would have thought you at least cared about him. I do. I adore my grandfather. Liar. If you gave a damn about any of them, you wouldn't be putting them through this right now. Also, you can get your hands on money. You know, I have been all around the world, Dinah, and I've met all kinds of people, but I have never met anyone like you. Well, thank you. I consider that a compliment. Well, it's not meant as a compliment. You're a criminal and a scam artist, and when I think of the look on your mother's face when she was listening to that tape, I could strangle you right now. Okay. I know this looks bad. <coughs> but you've got it all wrong. Yes, I am cooperating with Victor, but it's not for the money. <laughs> what, the two of you going to live happily ever after on the money you scammed from your family? No, why don't you just shut up and listen for a change? You might learn something. What am I going to learn? How to scam my parents? Not no, no, no! I did this for Peter. Peter? Pete, I don't even want to hear his name come out of your mouth. You don't give a damn about that boy. The hardest part is waiting, huh? Yeah, I know. I keep imagining uh, what Donna might be thinking or feeling. Well, don't let your imagination take the better of you. It's, uh, in my experience, it's never half as bad as that. Yeah. It would be nice if you were right. So this whole, this whole kidnapping thing was all a setup, right? Victor would have taken him anyway. And then he, he would have taken all the money, too. He would have done it, and he would have taken the money. Isn't it better that some of it stayed in the family? With you? Well, I am part of the family, even though I know that you wish I wasn't. <laughs> Listen, Victor wanted to kidnap Peter. 
He was gonna force me to help him. Now, I know you think I'm making this up, but I'm not, I swear. Don't you remember that morning when everyone was running around and looking for Peter and then I showed up with him and Vanessa was all mad at me? Yeah, so? Well, that was because I had Peter all night. I was hiding him because I knew Victor was gonna kidnap him and it was the only way that I could stop him. <laughs> I think doing that to a little kid is the lowest of the low. Don't you remember when I brought Peter back that morning? Yeah, I did think it was kind of strange that you walked in with Pete. Right, well, see, well, then, and then I disappeared right after that, right? I guess. I convinced Victor to take me instead. He'd still get all of his money, I told him, but then he wouldn't have to worry about taking care of the kid. He could take me instead, and Peter wouldn't have to be scared to death. It was a really scary thing for me to do, you know, but I did it. I did it for my family. I did. So what, Matt? Don't I get any points for that, huh? Oh, I guess not. I guess not, but you know what? That's the story of my life, because every time I try to do something, I do it, and then it... It never comes out right. And then... I just don't get it. <laughs> and now I've got you in this mess. And I'm sorry, Matt. I'm oh. sorry I got you into this. Oh, come on, come on. All right, I, I, I believe you. I, I, I guess if you did this for Peter, I, I, I got it all wrong. <laughs> You believe me? Yeah. Yeah, I suppose I believe that you did this for Peter. But leave it up to you, Dinah, to figure out a way to make money on this deal. That's how your mind works, and it's disgusting. It's a beautiful night, yeah? I've got it! The kidnappers left the instructions outside. Change in plans. Dinah Marler will not be involved in the pickup of the ransom what? money. Why? Please. You'll be interested to know that I have. What? Uh, what cutter? What's this say? Interested in what? I'm going to take this downtown. Uh... Hey. Hey, what's in that letter? I have a right to know. They have Matt. I know I look disgusting. I was so terrible without makeup on, well, especially after I've been crying. <clears throat> I wasn't talking about your makeup. You know, this is kind of funny. I mean, you've hated me since the first time we met. And I sure didn't think you'd come to get me. I mean, I always dreamed that a knight in shining armor. Figure you'd be the one. <laughs> Are you my knight in shining armor, man? Did it for your mother. Is that the only reason? Why did you come, Matt? Why did you rescue me? That's not gonna happen. Oh, just in case it does. Thanks for the effort anyway, no matter who you did it for. What are you doing? Phil, 
Um, what I mean is, now we're really sure that there is a victor. What the hell are you talking about? Did you victor know that Matt went after my Dinah? daughter? Come on, Blake, out with it! No, I... I'm not really. I mean, it doesn't really matter now. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Let's, let's listen to her. Look. What did, he, what did he know? What did Matt know? What did he tell you? Come on, Blake. All right. The truth is, we weren't 100% positive that Dinah was really kidnapped. What? What? Did Matt tell that to you? Well, he agreed with me when I suggested it. I don't believe this. I don't believe this either. What about this note? Do you not believe this note? Do you not believe that Matt and Dinah are together and that they've both been kidnapped? No, I do believe. I don't think Matt is a part of this, but I think Dinah could have been. Listen, I'm just really sick and tired of sitting on evidence just to protect people's feelings here. What evidence? Ross, it's right in front of our noses. Listen, we all know Dinah's primary motivating force is money. It has been since she came to this town. She tried to get her hands on her trust fund, and when that didn't work, she tried to rob the Fifth Street Look, Ball. Look, I don't want to get into that right now. Just tell me what evidence you have. Fine. Fine. I'm the one who knows Dinah better than anybody else in this room, in this town. When she lived with us, I watched her like a hawk. I know her habits. I know her little idiosyncrasies. So I know what? everything about her. So what her. does that have when to do with the situation I found out that now? She was abducted. What does it have to do with the kidnapping? I checked out her room in the boarding house. You what? I'm sorry, Patrick, but I had to. All right, fine. What's the connection? Wait a minute, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Look, we might as well listen to her. So what did you find? It's what I didn't find. Things were missing. Of course things were missing. I'm sure Victor took anything of value. Her blow dryer? Her her boom box or Edith Piaf tapes? No. I mean, either this, this kidnapper has very strange impulses or something is very off here. I don't understand. What are you talking about? When was the last case you had where a kidnapper gave his victim the time to pack a blow dryer? Dinah has a way of getting exactly what she wants. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Especially the people she's close to. And she knew Pachinol from her European days. Uh-huh. So, who knows what kind of deal she caught with him? Blake, it is one thing for you to spout these ridiculous theories to me, but I don't want you saying them in front of Cutter. You hear yes, me? I tried to tell you, but you wouldn't. Can you both be quiet? Look, this is a serious situation. Dinah's in serious danger, and so is Matt. And what are we doing? We're sitting around here like a bunch of kids. What are we going to do to help them? <laughs> What are you doing now? Some sort of SOS thing? No. The store's ancient. It has been used in years. I can find a weak spot in it. Maybe I can get us out of here. I just thought I'd be glad to be locked up with some macho brute. I guess it could be worse. Why don't you just shut up and pray for a miracle? Sorry. For a minute there, I forgot how much you despised me. But you could lighten up a little, Matt. doing that, though. You're making it all hot and steamy in here. It feels like a sauna. Why don't you just... Why don't you just love a big, tall iced tea right now? Look, Dinah, we gotta get out of here before he comes back. I can handle Victor, but believe me, I know the guy. He's not as mean as he pretends to be. What did, what did I mean? Something here? A couple of minutes ago, you were worried about his getting killed. I, what happened? Oh, I just realized I'm overreacting. I mean, he's been mad at me lots of times since we've been together, but I always manage to talk him out of it. 
With all your charm, I'm sure. Exactly. With all my charm. Look, all I'm saying is that Victor loves to play the bad guy. And locking us up in here is all just a big show. The guy kills people for a living, Dinah. He has at least one gun I've seen. No, but he won't use it on me. Or on you, if you just trust me. Listen, I bet I can convince Victor to let you go. I can. I really can. I'm really good at this game. But you just have to stay out of it. Just, just be quiet. Let me do all the talking. Then you'll have a moment and, and you can run free. What about you? Now, don't worry about me. Stop playing such a hero. I'm not trying to be a hero. I'm trying to keep your mother from breaking her heart again. Over you. Well, all I was doing was trying to keep Victor from kidnapping Peter. And what do I get? I get stuck in here with you, some overzealous Boy Scout who's playing diehard with my life. <laughs> I never asked you to rescue me. Yeah? Then well, maybe this was a mistake. Because I don't know how the hell we're going to get out of here. Wait a minute, hold on. Blake, have you got any idea where he might have gone, Matt? He was interested in the background noises on the ransom tape. Well, so are we all. Hold on a minute. We checked every single laundry, every single construction site in Springfield. Look, I want you to get the whole team together again. I want you to canvas every single adjoining town. I want you to go to every construct... That's right, every construction site and every laundry mat. Stand by. I'm sorry, that's it then. We'll just have to wait till we get here from the kidnapper. And then what? We just have to play it by ear. <laughs> <laughs>